Welcome to my channel, Main Street Orlando. My name is Josie, and today we're here at Destination D23, which is a Disney fan club event, specifically their shopping spree event to check out merchandise exclusive to the event, but also merchandise coming to the parks. Let's go. ML is here with us today and we're gonna start at the Mickey's of Glendale which is the Disney Imagineer store and I'm so excited we have made it to the Walt Disney Imagineering store and this store is originally located in California but they're here as a pop-up shop so let's start looking First thing we noticed was this Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey Mouse plush. It is $35. Here's the Imagineering logo. And I love what it says in the back. It says the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey is uniquely suited as the symbol of a true Imagineer. You guys know I love our lounge flies or my lounge flies. And this one here is of Mickey Mouse with the Sorcerer hat, pretty much signifying Walt Disney Imagineering. And look at the plaque. It says Walt Disney Imagineering and it has the Mickey ears on it and let's see the price on this this one here is let's see seventy dollars let's check out the inside the inside is nice and red with some stars and i always carry a little plush charm on my backpacks and they have one here for fifteen dollars and he is so precious and here's a matching wallet for forty dollars Established 1952, Walt Disney Imagineering. Last year, I believe they celebrated their 70th anniversary and they have this really cool mug here for $38. The, the bottom is really unique. That's a cute shirt, $28. These are perfect to celebrate the 100th anniversary. They're holographic and everything with the huge Mickey ears. Okay, I just realized embroidered, it says Epcot. And it's because the 100th anniversary is going to be celebrated in Epcot on December 5th. They announced that the fireworks for the Disney 100 will appear at Epcot December 5th. Okay, it seems they're running a special. It's $5. Mr. ML here really enjoys Oswald. He's wearing his Oswald shirt today. And we found Oswald merchandise. Look at this embroidered hat. Isn't he precious? And it says D23 on the side. Disney 100. Okay, this is special merchandise because it says Disney 100. And this one here is 25. Emma was immediately drawn to this one. Look at that. We've got Animal. Isn't he cute? It's, is he wearing diapers? Yeah. <laughs> it's from the Muppets Mayhem. And he is $25. Animal as a baby, $28. Okay, this mug is $10 for the Muppets Mayhem and I love it. Next is the Ink and Paint Marketplace. Lug has been the talk of the town due to the new bags that will be coming to the parks, including Alani, as you can tell by Olumel. Their bags look very versatile and just comfortable to use for travel around the parks. For example, this backpack is nice and purple, probably for D23. It is a nylon material, and just look at all of the zippers they have. So they have this front zipper, another little small pocket. Okay, let's see if there's like any this Ooh, look at the colors you can put your pink and then here. open this one it is 65 dollars by the way and it's called the hatchback backpack oh is this like a plastic, a plastic. yeah see-through what else we got that's it that's the main that's compartment oh right? you have another one here okay to hide your keys maybe i like it i like it and then for your uh water bottle on the side 
and it's magnetic. The same exact backpack, but look at this in polka dots. Check this one out. It's called the Hopper Shorty Backpack for $60. Maybe Hopper for Park Hopper? I don't know. And they don't just sell backpacks, but also little crossbodies. This one is called the Coop Crossbody. And you can even put it on your belt loops. You see that? And this is the new brand, remember, Lug, that is coming to the parks. It is a brand collaboration. Okay, this is the size of them, and Emma pointed this out. He's like, that is flounder. And yes, these are the flounder colors. I see it. And then, but look, no coincidence. This is mermaid, okay? Because, you know, the scales. And then you have the purple and the green. I was thinking about getting this one, but I put it on me so you could see how it looks like on the back. These are the new baggies that will be coming to the parks. This is Orange Bird. It does have embroidery details and one of the associates let us know that it is water resistant and you can clean it up really nice and easy. And then when you turn it around, this one is going to come for the Flower and Garden Festival 2024. It's nicely embroidered and let's open it up to see what the inside looks like. Oh, okay, so they'll each have unique prints to them on the inside, which is like pretty, is pretty cool. That's the logo for the festival. Isn't that fun? And then the inside, it says Skeeter Mini. That's what this bag is called. And you can use it as a crossbody or to put it in your belt loops. This one is of Olimel, a friend of Duffy. You guys know him already. I've shown him many times here at this channel, but it will be exclusive to Alani, the Disney Resort in Hawaii. Hawaii, and there he is with this cute little face embroidered at the front and the tag here says Disney Parks Lug and then let's see what else we got um, we also have this one here of a figment and he kind of pops out if you see that but he's nice he looks like a patch and then when you turn it around this is for the International Festival of the Arts 2024 in, in January yes this is one of my favorite festivals and then we have the wings embroidered on there let's see the inside look at that around world the world the world showcase i forgot to show the olio inside Hold yeah on. show me the olio. Let, let, let's let's see the olio you guys know i love duffy and friends okay oh, that's really print. Nice. you see the hotel yeah the resort and this is chip i know many of you who love chip and dale let's see if the other side has it. oh no it's just chip oh i know what this is, is for this is Canada Pavilion. Oh, yeah. This is probably for Canada Pavilion. A hundred percent. Yeah, you can see this in the entrance of the yes, Canada Pavilion. Yes, exactly. Mickey Mouse for the Germany Pavilion. And the background is nice and black. And then look, his little outfit. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> and those eyebrows like completely lifted when I, when I turned it around. And then look at this, of course, the love of his life, Minnie Mouse. Last but not least is Winnie the Pooh with his little cute little ears that's popping off at the top. And let's see, oh, his little shirt, Winnie the Pooh. I love it. Let's see the inside. This one is for the UK Pavilion. Oh, yes, this is for UK Pavilion. And there we go, little bees and honey. Another item that will be coming to the parks is this backpack. And it looks like something that would come to the UK, UK pavilion. pavilion. We have Winnie the Pooh, but it looks like he's in London, doesn't it? And then it says Disney Parks Lug. And this one is pretty cool because it has a little compartment for mini ears or Mickey ears. And then we have the main compartment here. This looks like a great uh, bag for the parks. It's called the Valley Mi Volley or Valley Mini. Volley Mini. One of those. And then there's this crossbody or handbag that says Winnie the Pooh right there in the middle. And it is kind of like a quilted yeah. design. All of it, of course, nylon material. Here's the crossbody strap. I don't have prices, by the way. And uh, this is the inside print. So I might get this one. I'm still undecided. But these kind of stuff that we showed you, which was these little mini bags or the ones with the, the purple one, etc. This is exclusive for, you know, lug. And not something that 
will necessarily come to the parks. There's nothing official about that, but this is a lug product. You can, you may be able to purchase it on their website. I'll link the website down below if you want to shop their products. So they say that this is like their main uh, merchandise item that sells out really fast due to it looking like Minnie Mouse, of course. But these items, the ones that we showed you with um, the characters coming to uh, Epcot are the ones that will be exclusive to the parks and they may even be available on Shop Disney, not sure if on their website. And this, by the way, will be exclusive for Run Disney. I know. They have so many options. So these, for example, one of the ones that I showed you prior, not available at the parks or may not be available at the parks in the near future or the future i don't know but it is available maybe on their website i have made my decision i'm getting this one which is the hopper shorty backpack that looks like the mermaid but i forgot to show you the inside check it out we got starfish coral so it's the little mermaid yeah it's like the little mermaid We have made it to the Stife booth and I'm so excited because you guys know I love Stife. I usually find them over at the Germany Pavilion in Epcot due to them being a German toy uh, brand. I was going to say toy store, a toy brand. And they make collector bears. You've seen them over at um, Germany Pavilion when I do merch tours over in Epcot. And they are collector stuffed animals. So not just bears, but all we've seen Mickey Mouse, we've seen Minnie Mouse, Dumbo, Winnie the Pooh, and more. And they have many of them here. And like I said, they are collector stuffed animals. So they are a bit pricey, but full of quality. And I love them so much. So you probably recognize this Minnie Mouse over from the Germany Pavilion. I've showed her several times, I believe. And here they're selling her for $40. But look at this one. We have a Baloo. And these look like beautiful um, little stuffed animals for a, a nursery, don't they? Or if you're a collector, these are so cute. This one here is $37, so not a bad price. You will recognize a Stife by this tag on their ear, handmade by Stife. Here is Lady from Lady and the Tramp, and I love her long ears and that precious face. She is at $39. And then over here, we have our beloved Marie from the Aristocats. Look at that huge bow. Sure. She's so Are precious. This is for the Disney 100 and it is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Isn't he precious? He is to $525. Let me just kind of do a little zoom in on him. And the beast here is $700. Here is a better look of this beast and I adore him. For a special price is this Platinum Mickey Mouse. He is originally $325, now $250, and look how sparkly his shorts look. And then here he is. Very cute. And this huge thumper is $635, but just look at the size of him. I held Mickey Mouse and I was like, wait, he's not like bendy or soft he's actually pretty hard this is what i'm saying about being a collector stuffy and look you can actually move so he's jointed at the at the arms and this here is nice and glittery and sparkly but the glitter doesn't fall off of his shorts he's hard and put your hand in oh well, yeah it's hard right so you can pose him and stand him up like this stop is the Disney Fine Arts booth and you guys know in this channel we love Disney art. Here is their information. They have a website DisneyFineArt.com. They have Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and let me just zoom in so you can get those handles in case you want to check them out. So let's take a look at some art. We have Snow White. This one is beautiful and it is called Lost in the Forest by Michelle St. Laurent. It is $7,300. This is the original. This one is called Nostalgia and it is already sold since it has a red dot, dot by the same artist and also $7,500. For my Lilo and Stitch fans, look at Stitch painting Lilo. Isn't that cute? And it is the Mona Lilo. Oh, that's adorable by Tim Rogerson and it is $150. This one is, is so nice. It's really nice. Really nice, isn't it? And it is Oswald and Mickey Mouse. I would like the, to have the, oh, this. 
Oh, this one's nice. That one is really nice with Walt on the train and we have Mickey and friends in the back side and the engine of imagination 150. But this one here, look here, established 1923. It is Bros in Business, also by Tim Rogerson, 150. Yes, yes, Walt and Roy, right? The Mad Doctor's Great Experiment by Michelle St. Laurent, also 150. Mice Cream One by Dami Paroma for 5,000. And then look at this, it's already sold. It's called 100 Pieces, you know, his peace sign. And he has some uh, platinum drip on his ears, just like those uh, Mickey ears that came out, right? With the platinum drip. And it is $5,400. Lonesome Ghost, and this looks like a poster art. It is $70, and just look at all of those details. I love looking at art where you can just find like little things here and there. We have made it to the Rock Love Jewelry booth. And let me tell you guys, I love following their Instagram and their jewelry pieces are amazing. They have a Moana collection here. And I wanted to first see up close is this Hey Hey here. Let's get up close for you guys and check them out. You guys know we love Hey Hey. Hey Hey's necklace is 125 and you can see the prices for the rest of the collection. By the way, the Moana collection goes online on the 14th of September, which is a Thursday. So I'll link it down below for you guys. And here is Precious Pua and Emil has his eye on this Maui hook. So I asked them for a Tiana piece and this is what they have at the show, but they have more online and it is absolutely precious. And this one is $115. Yes, it does look like the crown. And they also said that they have a ring that is so popular and I'm on back order at the moment. And based on or inspired by the new Ahsoka series, we have the Loth Cat. Here are the prices for the Star Wars jewelry pieces. So you see the necklace is $150. And then we also have a few of the droids here, which we're gonna look at now. Here is Chopper. And let's see, I think he, he kind of like moves. So you can move, yep, you can. You can move him. Hold on, I'm trying to, there you go. You see that? That's so cute. And this is actually their last piece. They say that they are on back order online. So it's a popular piece. Check out this Leia Organa lightsaber. And it is $99. It's part of their Rock Love Crystal lightsaber and Star Wars collection. This Ark of Covenant necklace is amazing. It opens up like that. It is $199. And then let's close it back up. How cool is that? And the Holy Grail necklace for $150. But look at this. You have chosen wisely. They have a Disney 100 collection as well. And this stitch necklace is to die for. It is 135. And look at him. He's uh, dancing on there. So we're here at the Lionel booth and you guys have seen Lionel trains in our channel and we are with the CEO and can you please explain what you have here for us? Yeah, absolutely. This is a collection of hand cars and it's based on the 1934 toy that was the first licensed product between uh, the Lionel company and the Walt Disney company. And wow. this car is single-handedly credited with saving the Lionel Corporation who was in receivership at the time. It was the Great Depression. All companies were looking for sources of revenue and income. And so the partnership uh, sold hundreds of thousands of units for a dollar a piece. A dollar a piece. A dollar a piece, <laughs> yes. So for the 100th anniversary of Disney, we figured it was really good because it has this incredible story for both sides. The, this piece is actually featured in the Walt Disney Family Museum. It's actually on some of the um, some of the historic kind of like archive type stuff. Okay. And so we we went and did some research and got a lot of the original documentation from Roy Disney and then the, the communications about the original product. So we recreated it authentically in the four original colors, which are red, 
green, maroon, and orange. And then to celebrate the sort of color aesthetic that Disney picked, which is the purple and the, the shiny, uh, we created these two versions. Now this version was only released Friday. This was a, a D23 Gold member exclusive. That one sold out for on pre-orders. Yes, for two forty nine ninety nine. And, and we brought this one in um, for the shell, making only one hundred and twelve of these. So this is a, a Destination Twenty Three exclusive. And it has a track. It does. It has a loop of thirty inch track and the key. So for the D, for the D Twenty Three versions, you get the D Twenty Three key with the Lionel logo for the other four versions, it's the Disney 100 logo. And then you turn the key and it... Yeah, so what you do is you basically, so this was a toy again in 1934. So on this side, you just put the key on the, um, the, the little knob that sticks out, give it a couple of cranks. You don't want to over tighten it because it will ruin the spring. Okay. Remove your key and then you'd set it on the track and then you would release the brake, which is this lever here. Oh, that's fun. And it goes, and it will work its way around the track. Again, this is what kids were playing with in 1934. That is so cool. And this, the original one, you said you can find it at the Disney archives. Yeah, it's in some of the Disney archive stuff. It's talked about in a lot. There's there's sort of stories and books that have been written, and it's, and it's included in there. The Walt Disney Family Museum has a red one on display. So, yeah, it's, it's part of the licensing lore because it was... It was very early on in what was really the, the kickoff. There was a gentleman by the name of Kay Kamen who was largely considered like the father of modern day licensing. And he did this with a couple of different companies. There was a watch company. He also got it on a General Mills. Uh, he got uh, Mickey on General Mills cereal box, all in the same sort of time frame. And it was in an effort to raise revenue for the studios. Right. And so that's how it all kind of came to be. And so many, many years later, we're happy to celebrate. We're 123 years old. Disney uh, is 100 years. 123. Year. Yep. So this is when it uh, started with Disney. Yeah. Well, yeah, back in the 30s. Yeah. So this was the beginnings. Very cool. And they, anybody can purchase, I know these are exclusive to the event, but what so, about the other ones? Yeah, so red is available through all channels. So that one you're gonna find in our in our Lionel train dealers. You're gonna find that on Amazon. You'll find that on our own website or here at the, at the show. Um, the green one is going to be released at Comic-Con in New York City in a few weeks, in October. Ooh. So that will be, um, it will start there, and if there's any left, that will come to the LionelStore.com website. The orange one is exclusive to LionelStore.com, so that's our own uh, store. And then the maroon one is a Shop Disney exclusive. So, Shop Disney? Yes, no way! Yes, so that one's going to be only available through Shop Disney, so they took uh, an allotment of that car. And what's the price on that one? Um, that's going to be up to them. Oh, okay. We have a manufacturer. Yeah, missing. we have a manufacturer suggested <laughs> price. Um, Thank you so much for showing us. Yeah, you're welcome. And please remind us, what is your name? Howard Hitchcock. There we go, guys. So if you guys, they said you have like social media channels or yeah, the Lionel social media channels, absolutely, awesome. yeah. So you can yeah. search them on social media as well as their website if you want to shop some of their products. And we have seen many of their products over at the Disney parks. And just so you know, they also sell sets for Look Toy Story. You guys won't find these at the parks, by the way, most probably on their website. And this Toy Story set is adorable. I'm just thinking about my nephews every time I see anything Toy Story. And this here is, let's see, 115. The show special today is $50. And then they have Christmas sets, of course. We have Frozen. Take a look at this Frozen one. Originally $4.50 and the show special is $3.50 and just look at that lighting effect. Okay guys, and we just purchased this one, the Disney 100 Years of Wonder train set. Okay. And we are so excited. We're actually gonna film a reel or TikTok. So make sure you follow us on those locations so you can see our unboxing and setting up. La 
last but not least is the Walt Disney Company store. First thing I noticed was this D23, the official Disney fan club lounge fly. And this is exclusive to gold members, D23 gold members, which Emil and I recently became. So we're very excited about it. Uh, so stay tuned. And we are planning on going to next year's D23 event. That's, that's our plan. That's our plan. So stay tuned to see if we uh, come true with our dream. Anyhow, so this lounge fly, it is nice. So you do have to be a gold member to purchase. And it has all of these elements about Disney on it, including the poison apple. Isn't that funny? It is $75. This is the inside, says D23. These mugs are really nice. And I like the simplicity of just the logo on there. Let's see, the Walt Disney Company with our Mickey Mouse. Let's see, this is $16, by the way. From the Employee Center in California, they have this Walt Disney Productions. It says here, limited edition. It's a t-shirt, but it is a mysterious price. But look, the hat here is $25. It has that embroidery design at the front, which is pretty cool. Employee Center tag. By the way, this logo here is actually the original or the first Walt Disney Productions logo in Burbank, California. So that is very cool. Cool. And this is exclusive to the uh, employee center. the employee center over in uh, California. So this merchandise you will not get anywhere else. This is exclusive usually only for the employees, but they extended it to uh, D23 so we can come in and shop it for this event, which is pretty cool. And the shirts are around $30. And this spare jersey is nice and sparkly. And we got the uh, gold member, little metallic puffy print on the back. And then some other elements right here. Oh, you got it. On the side. So some of the Disney characters, this is the same elements you'll find on the lounge fly backpack. Yeah, and it is $75. And this is the front side, nice and sparkly D23. How many of you guys are D23 member members? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you didn't know, there is a free membership where you don't have to pay anything and just be a D23 member, right? But then there is the gold member, which you have additional perks. And there's also events throughout the year with special ticketed events so if any of you guys are the gold members we started being gold members but if you guys are gold members let us know how you guys like it what you've done with that and and what's the best part about being a d23 gold member hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget about those shopping links down below in the description box subscribe for more disney world merchandise tours updates and fun if you like this video give this video a like extremely really helps the channel questions or comments leave them down below and also that notification bell so you are notified every time we upload a new video which is three times a week and if you want to see the video prior to this one where i visit disney springs and i see a bantha burger star wars Wars collection yes and also a Kate Spade collection or collaboration with Disney and more you could check it out right up here or the one prior to that one where I visit Disney's Hollywood Studios I see a new Ahsoka Tano collection Dooney and Burke bag collection and more right down here and I cannot wait to see you guys again very soon bye